After a fantastic feast, it was time for dessert. We are checking out Seulbing, a Korean dessert cafe located in the Hongdae district of Seoul, South Korea. Located on the second floor, they serve a variety of Korean style desserts ranging from bingsu, pastries, and sweet drinks. The cafe was quite spacious. This is probably the largest dessert cafe I've ever been to in my life. So many flavor options for their bingsus. Chocolate, mango, green tea. First up was shikhe, a unique rice punch made from fermented malt and rice. The next dessert was bungyopang, a Korean style fish shaped pastry filled with red bean paste derived from sweet azuki beans. It was warm on the bite, nice and moist inside. Finally, the main dessert of the night, the strawberry party bingsu. Shaved frozen milk surrounded by strawberry marmalade topped with yogurt ice cream, whipped cream, and fresh Korean grown strawberries. Oozing with sweet condensed milk. Best dessert in my life, more so because I was sharing this dessert with awesome people in an awesome city. We are in Korea, baby. Korean farmers grow the best strawberries in the world. I've eaten strawberries in America, in France, mainly sourced from Spain, and their strawberries taste so bitter. Korean strawberries taste much sweeter. It's like biting into candy, but you're actually eating fruits. A fitting conclusion to our visit to South Korea. Seoul is a fun city. If you have the resources and the time to do so, definitely make the trip here.